Here we are, folks. It's the final installment of the Dan K Show Awards Editions because there's been plenty of them. It is time for the Players of the Year in the Premier 16U, 16U Futures, and 18U. And the suspense has been building. The names have been called. We've been we've been announcing some incredible award winners, right? We talked about a lot of award winners. It's down to three in each division that could take it home. What would you be feeling right now if you were a player at home that could have possibly won this award? Oh, I'd, I'd be feeling pretty nervous. You know, there's there's so many. You see your name against those other great names, and yep. you think to yourself, like, it could, it could be anybody at this point. It could be anybody. It could be, Lucas. And, you know, I would be thinking, Let, let's get to it, you know? Let's find out who won. But, I mean, first, what did you have for dinner last night? You know, Dave, before I talk about that, let's introduce the Midwest Coach of the Year, a man by the name of Bill Zanaboni from Dell's Ducks. This is a guy that took a team from third place finish in the regular season all the way to the championship game in a powerhouse division and took home some hardware. Something that I predicted. You know, Dan, there's two things I'm good at. One is cooking, and two is predicting championship teams. So let's back up and talk about that first thing for a little bit. Started cooking dinner about like three o'clock. Oh, okay. right. You know what, let me cut you off there okay. because I think it's, we'll, we'll get to it now. We'll get to it, we have, we'll, we'll talk about it after the show. But let's get into the players of the year first we go to the 16 new futures. The champions of the 16 new futures were the Potomac Patriots, allowing less than a goal a game. They have two nominees here. First nominee, Max Sachinowicz, goaltender of the Potomac Patriots. Then we have Ilya McCullough, defenseman of the Potomac Patriots. Finally rounding it out, it is Jonathan Intravaya of the Pal Junior Islanders. He was your forward of the year. Lucas, who takes home? Player of the year in the 16 new futures. And the award goes to Max Sachinowicz. Max, congratulations. It took me a long time to learn how to pronounce your name, by the way. Hey, we hope we're pronouncing it right. We're just guessing. Max took it to the max this year, and you know what? You know the 16 U's are our futures. Whitney Houston said it best. But moving in to the 16 U now, we're going to move up the ranks, and we are going to go to a league that was a incredibly battled out league won by the Selects Academy, and they put a couple nominees in this one. First nominee, Forward of the year, Joel Farabee of the Selects Academy. Next, you have Mac Wiseman. A wise man once said, pick Mac, but we will see. And he is a skipjack skater. Next up, you have Billy Gerard IV, goaltender of Selects Academy. Lucas, a lot of deserving candidates. Who takes it home? Who takes home player of the year? The award goes to Mr. Joel Farabee. Congratulations, Joel. That's what happens when you put up a hat trick in the title game. Joel Faraby, an incredible season. Billy Joel, an incredible artist. Just a random fact that I'm going to throw out there. 18U. Let's go into the next one here. Another, another tough one to pick. Me and Lucas, we didn't want to look at the winner. We saw all three. We told them not to show us the winner. We were trying to guess. We both had different guesses. Anybody could take this one home. You start with Alexis Binner. Binner, Binner, Chicken Dinner. Selects Academy player. You have Steven Tilly of the Portland Junior Pirates and Keith Petrozelli of Selects Academy. Lucas, who takes it home? The award goes to Keith Petrozelli. Congratulations, Keith. Keith Petrozelli, you know, Selects Academy, he takes home a title. Two different Selects Academy stars taking home players of the year at the 16U and 18U, an incredible year for Selects Academy, dominating both levels. Just the program they put together, the commits they have up on the board, the future of the Selects Academy is bright. The future of those two young gentlemen, very, very bright. And now, what everyone's been waiting for, we premiere the USPHL Premier Player of the Year. You've got your Josh Creelman. He's for real, man. You've got your Joe Duzak. The cabs are on their way. You've got the picking, right for the picking, John Picking of the Baston Junior Bruins. You've got three great choices. You have three great athletes. Lucas, let's make a case for each. Okay. What's your case for Joe Duzak? Well, I mean, the, the case for Joe Duzak is is he's been mentioned, I think, almost the, the most of any almost any player on the show. I mean, every single week, just putting up offensive numbers, making impact on the defensive side of the, of the puck. You know, just, just a, an all-around phenomenal player, a guy that's made his name heard every single week this season. But what about John Picking, a Boston Junior Bruins squad player, a leader on a team, an emotional leader, a physical leader, a gifted and talented forward here in John Picking, winning forward of the year. I mean, I could go with picking John Picking any day. Well, I think a lot of people could pick John Picking. 
and you know you make a great case yourself there Dan great emotional leader great leader on the ice he's a guy that people look to we said it in the first uh, the first show when we announced his his forward of the year win just just somebody that his teammates are looking to every time they get into a situation where they need some leadership they're you know maybe they're behind or they're ahead by a goal looking to put the other team away he is the guy that is going to lead that final charge to get the win for the junior Bruins. finally a man who led a team to a title a man who dominated in net when the times were the most dire a, t- a guy who led his team stood on his head dominated between the posts and built a wall i didn't know it was legal to bring big bricks to fill up a net until josh creelman did so out on the ice an incredible postseason for Josh Grillman, an even better season for Josh Grillman. Easy to see him as a player of the year candidate as well. Oh, absolutely. Just putting up monster goals in that, like you said, standing on his head almost every single game. We talk a lot on the show about how important defense is. At the heart of the defense is the goaltender because when all the other players have been beat, your last guy between the puck and the net is the goaltender. He's the guy that you know you need to be able to count on. A good goaltender can do a lot. You saw with Jared Young of the Dells Ducks taking his team to a title from a third seed. But with that in mind, Joe Duzek of the Pal Junior Islanders, John Picking of the Boston Junior Bruins, Josh Krillman of the New Jersey Hitmen, Lucas. Who's the one, Lucas? It's Joe Duzak, Dan. Joey Duzak takes home the USPHL Premier Player of the Year. Congratulations, Joe Duzak. Congratulations to all of the skaters. You know, just the kind of season that we had, Lucas. Let's sum up this this entire year here. We're, we've had fun with the Dan K Show. We've built all these episodes. We've done all this work. It's, end the show you know you always you always end the show with your thoughts with such incredible thoughts can you end off the award show with something sure thank you for such a great year from from both of us to all of you guys out there the you guys are the reason that we do this show to be able to interact with you at games and online and through the internet blogosphere we want to thank you uh, for just a great season a great season on behalf of all of the teams such a great playoffs regular season I mean you know what, Dan? At the end of this year, the one thing that I have to say, I can't wait for next year. I was expecting a normal grunt from Lucas, but that was... It's left me speechless. Folks, we've had fun. We hope you've had fun. We hope you keep watching. We'll have some special Dan K shows throughout the offseason, bringing you some updates, some news, some stories, and all the headlines you want to know. From uh, Lucas Jones alongside me and yours truly, Dan K. This is the Dan K Show signing off for the last time in the 2015-2016 campaign. Dan K, remember, when he's on the mic, it's always hockey night, and it will continually be just incredibly difficult for me to say that line, no matter what. See you next year, folks.